I mean you and me and lukewarm tea. This could be your really big picture right here. Oh my God, you're right. See? Sitting here at Starbucks drinking mediocre coffee with a professional cat sitter is all my life is going to amount to. <laughs> That's not really what I meant. It's Adam okay. Guan, who wrote this piece, um, had sent this to me about almost three years ago now. It was in the summer of 2007. And as many people do, they send out a letter of introduction, and they send the, uh, uh, usually a demo CD and sometimes a libretto of the script of the show. So I pop the CD into my computer as I'm working, and I just totally got hooked by the music. You like a she moved by that color, and maybe those trees. Maybe Would she tell me she hates him? I think uh, what is really interesting about this piece is, uh, first of all, that it is incredibly melodic. Uh, with that being said, if you really start to strip away the layers, you realize how much craft is put into what Adam has done. The score is just such a, a dream to sing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please meet Adam Guan. Talk a little bit about how this project started. Yeah. yeah. I started out just writing songs, and in fact, the very first song that I wrote was Tori's final song, um, I'll you Be Here. Can you believe that song? Can you um, believe that song? Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I'll be here on the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7. If you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's... And I thought maybe to start out with that I would put together sort of a, a song cycle evening which is, is typically a bunch of songs that don't really tell a whole story but they sort of fit together thematically. So I thought I might do that but very quickly I got bored with that idea because I'm, I feel like I'm such a story driven writer. A small piece of paper comes floating my way. It says, don't worry, everything will be okay. 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 Ready? You bet. On your mark. On your mark, it says, we'll climb to the sky, the trees I keep going, and then the blankets fly. totally the connection to 9-11. Oh, several oh, other good. people also, oh, yeah, yeah, several other people that we talked to also missed that connection. From the first moment that I started writing this, and since I wrote that song first, I knew that I, I didn't, I never wanted it to be a show about 9-11. Um, it, it's been a question that's come up before, like, do you want, is, is, it, is it sort of like, do you want to make more of a statement in the show that this is about 9-11? Um, and I think that, I think that the answer is that I that I don't that it really is about this woman's loss. Our first anniversary came in a flash, and we promised to take the day off. He had to stop into his office that morning, and so I went walking uptown to this bakery. I know what I heard on the street, what I thought was a joke, till I noticed the sirens and saw all the smoke. So I'm running back home with this feeling of dread to the voicemail he left. With the last words he said. Because I'll be here, even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater, even if you go out on my birthday this year. Instead of sitting at home, letting all of life's moments pass by, you don't have to cry, because I'll be here when you stay.
start going back to the places we went to together. When you take off my ring and you let yourself smile. We've when always you talked about that New York City is almost a fifth character in this show. That it's so much about how these people and, and how the city in some way is affecting their lives. And for people that live in New York now are New Yorkers, I mean, 9-11 is so much a fabric of their being. Jason, I will marry you. I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear. Because I finally let myself tell you. Even though it's been three years I since that, since first getting that script, Kevin's sort of always been in the picture as it's, as it's developed. Um, which is, I think, why it feels even more special to finally be, finally be here on the stage mm -hmm. in Dayton. Thanks so much. <laughs>